In this video, I'm going to be telling you what is the difference between fasting, anorexia, and starving. I'm John from BulldogMindset.com, and on this channel, I help you go from the victim mindset to the bulldog mindset. So, I got this question, and he says here, is there a difference between fasting, anorexia, and starving? So, yes, there is a difference, okay? And I have to tell you, I have to caveat this by saying, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any doctor degree. I can't give you medical advice that uh, that you should follow. You should talk to your doctor about medical advice, but I'll give you my opinion as an uneducated plebe <laughs> or, or whatever I am, as a bulldog, as an, an animal. So fasting, okay, is specifically going without food or water, okay, and it could be both, uh, for a specific period of time for some kind of a health benefit or some kind of religious reason, right? It's it's planned, it's specific, okay? Uh, you've got a reason for doing it and it's not something that you're compelled to do or something that you're you're deeming harmful harmful to you. Fast can be harmful, okay? If you fast for 30 days and you're already at like 10% body fat, you might die. If you dry fast without any water for like a week, you might die, okay? It, it's, it's not necessarily the best thing for you to do that, especially if you're doing some hard workout. I fast, I fast every day, okay? I do one meal a day as my general fasting, and then sometimes I fast for 48 hours or 72 hours. If you're curious about one meal a day or OMAD, I've got a whole video series on OMAD and what it is, go check that out here, and, uh, and make sure you click subscribe and you'll get all the videos that are coming out in that series. Fasting is strategic, it's planned. It's something that you intended to do in general, right, okay? And if you fast properly, okay, you are going to not have any kind of diminished strength. I have done some some crazy workouts while fasted, like doing a three-day fast while lifting weights and running 20 miles and doing kickboxing and all kinds of stuff. Not everyone may be able to do that. You may have to adapt to that, but I'm saying it's possible, okay? So you can do a lot while you're still fasted, right? You've got body fat. Your body can learn how to burn that body fat to use that for fuel. It's called being fat adapted. You know, when people go into ketosis and do keto diets, that's what they're doing. But fasting is the fastest way. It's the ultimate keto diet because guess what? There's no food. And I think fasting is great. I think everybody should fast. I think that, you know, you don't have to do it as extreme as I do, but taking a few days a week to fast or one day a week to fast or having some kind of fasting is going to extend your lifespan, okay? It's gonna teach you some discipline and it is going to help you maintain your weight better. Now, let's talk about anorexia. Anorexia is a more of a psychological problem. Some people are gonna get butt hurt and cry about this, but anorexia is one of those things that I don't actually classify as a disease. Like any kind of mental problem that can be solved that is not an actual real like defect of the brain, I don't really consider to be a mental illness. I don't believe in things like depression and I don't believe in things like bipolar and, and any of that bullshit or hyperactivity disorder or ADD, ADHD, and even though I've been diagnosed with that. I don't believe in that shit. What I'm saying may be wrong, but my belief of not believing in that is an empowering one, so I keep that. With that said, with that caveat, anorexia is basically where you constantly believe you're not good enough, okay? And so you are starving yourself, okay, in order to achieve what you think is an ideal physique, right? And it also usually involves binge eating as well. I feel guilty, so I'm reacting and I'm acting that way. And I think honestly, honestly, if I have to be honest with you, like as far as the medical definition of anorexia, I think most bodybuilders and most really like fit fitness people, they would really be classified. It. Like, like the difference between me, <laughs> honestly, and an anorexic person is I lift weights. I mean, think about it, right? Is that not the difference? Like, and a lot of you guys that follow me, I mean, let's be fucking honest, okay? We're bulldogs here, we can be fucking honest. Is, is it? Is it really, is that really not true? Like, I mean, think about it, right? What really is the difference? But that's a big difference, okay? And why is it a big difference? Let me tell you why. Because they're healthy and they're not dying. Because if you're building muscle and you're lifting weights, okay, your body, 
has a secondary fuel source, okay, and you're not eating up your heart muscle, and you're not shriveling away and dying. But there's some psychological aspect to it, right? You're not going to argue with an anorexic person and, and tell them this, right? And that's why, you know, there's a lot, oftentimes medical intervention and, and whatnot. I, I believe someone can coach themselves out of it. I believe someone can talk themselves out of it, but it's ingrained habits, okay? Habits and habitually thinking and, and, and the mindset that they have is really difficult to displace. A lot of people don't want to touch this and they say, no, 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 you're confusing it. No, I understand very clearly what I'm saying and what I'm implying here. And, and if we're fucking honest, if we're honest, we know that we are skirting the, the dangerous line of anorexia. But you know what? I'm okay with that because I've chosen to live my life that way and I'm okay with the consequences of it because it's worth it to me because that's what I want to do. And like I said, really the big difference is, and, it, and it's the difference that matters is that I lift weights and lifting weights makes all the difference because it does change the, the, the dynamics of it and the health profile of it. Now we talked about the third one, starving, okay? And there is a relationship between anorexia and starving and a lot of people that have anorexia are actually starving and that's why they look so bad and that's why it's unhealthy. Starving is very different from fasting. Starving is the point where your body's actually shutting down and is actually suffering because it does not have the fuel requirements that it needs in order to perform the basic functions of the body. So it's starting to shut down things that, that it doesn't need. To some degree, anyone who's been at a low body fat, they're kind of flirting with starving to, to a some degree, right? The sexual reproduction system starts to shut down some, uh, some of the, the thermal systems of the body start to shut down. You get cold a lot more, right? There's a lot of things that, that can start to shut down, but real starvation is to the point where what's happening is that your body is starting to, in fact, you know, you can look up the medical lit literature on this if you're curious what actually happens in starvation, but your body will actually start to eat your heart. Okay, and that's bad. And a lot of people that watch my videos, there was a guy that used to comment on this, bless his heart, but uh, he, he would always say, oh, you're gonna kill yourself, John. You're, you're destroying your heart, you're in your heart. And he understood a little bit about starvation, but what he didn't understand was that that's only gonna happen after your body's kind of pulled a lot of the skeletal muscle and there's not much left. You're not gonna see a bodybuilder in starvation mode. Although there have been a few, I think, that have died from not having enough body fat. It, it has happened before, but that's really, really extreme, okay? And they're probably on a ton of drugs as well to enable them to kill themselves from starving while having muscle, okay? Most of the time what's gonna happen and if you look at, at people that are starving, if you look at like some of the pictures from the Holocaust, they're skin and bones, they look like anorexia. In, in starvation mode, you're not getting the right nutrients, okay? That's a, that's a huge, huge uh, thing to, to understand here. In most of Western society, in the foods that we eat, and the fucking uh, milk is fortified, grains are fortified, right? You're getting all the vitamins and the nutrients, even if you're eating junk, okay? And you've got meat and you've got vegetables and you've got the stuff not a medical definition of any of this stuff <clears throat> because i'm not a doctor but again i think a lot of uh, the medical definitions of stuff is, is a bunch of bullshit anyway because in practicality you know that that's what matters is what actually pragmatically works and what you actually see not what people define things to be i will talk to you next time take care